place to support those local shops. Yes. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming on. We look thank forward you. to all the shopping QR code. There it is. Bottom left-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, we're going to send it on over to you. All right. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> we are talking about bubbles. bubbles. I need bubbles. <laughs> you need bubbles. Uh, Rick yeah. Crossland is here. A, bubbles are fun. They are fun, But yeah. there is a lot of science to bubbles. And so yeah, the first I'm thing, uh, Randy, yourself. go ahead and give us a little air. Oh, we're you want to blow through the soil? Yeah, yeah, so there's two types of harder. bubbles. No easy, oh, okay. unless you want a face full of uh, no bubbles. But you can see these bubbles coming up. That's a bubble of air in a water. And Randy, being a meteorologist, that's, you should know how important that is because yes. the bubbles in the ocean bring material up into the atmosphere, which turns into dust, which makes clouds. So there's actually acoustic bubbleology. You can learn more so about a part of the water cycle. Part of the water cycle yeah, and go. really helping with the uh, model of climate and yes. understanding our climate. Okay. But I went on the search for the best uh, bubble solutions on the internet. I <laughs> so, bet you did. <laughs> so this one is supposed to be number one, oh. but there's a guy in England uh, called Chiron the Mighty, and he uses this. So there's different two recipes. Yeah, so we'll, what's we'll the try. difference between this and that? Well, this one has uh, uh, agar, and this one has glycerin in it. Oh, okay. This one has British soap. <laughs> oh. Okay. And, and that one has Dawn. Oh. But uh, you can't really make a bubble just with regular water because water likes to hold together. We call that surface tension. So if you try to blow, it just it just yeah, won't. Yeah, it won't regular do water it. won't do it. Yeah, yeah. But there are bubbles. You would be surprised how important bubbles are to what we eat and drink. George. Now, <laughs> you got George's attention right there. I so. drink a lot of soda water, and this has carbon dioxide dissolved in it. And as these bubbles stick to little fractures in the glass, they start to come up. They do. And when they come up, that popping is what gives champagne its aroma and its flavor. And you can hear the fizz. And you can hear the fizz and it actually shoots little champagne jets up into okay, the air. Cool. And so if you didn't have that bubble, it won't taste near the same. So bubbles are kind of cool, but uh, really, uh, let's just have some fun with some bubbles. So I have, okay. uh, well, first we'll try it. I, I made a little thing out of a wire right oh, there. So boy. you want to get your hands uh, nice and... Uh, uh, soapy in here. Okay. Yes, wow, and uh, cold it is cold, <laughs> and that affects the bubbles. Cold is better. Okay, and so go ahead and uh, put your wire in and okay. uh, and bring it up. And I'm going to try to get a bubble film. So this is a different type of bubble. Uh -oh. This is soap, water, and soap. There you go. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, and you can Huge. bounce yours up and down, and that is a pretty good. Okay. Could you go a little bit? Maybe you can get a bigger bubble. Oh, there you go. That's pretty wow. cool. Wow, we got about one minute here, right? One minute. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look at that. Will it ever break? Or uh, yes, it's but, but it's the, so. the soap okay. interacts with the surface tension and keeps the bubble together. Keeps but let's, okay. let's try it with our hands. Just take your hand and make a little opening like this and blow through it. Well, Come on, Randy. <laughs> quiet news, some. <laughs> So oh, the, loser. <laughs> <laughs> it worked before the show. <laughs> so just make a little, make a little bit bigger opening. And how are you doing? Ah, there, 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 there it is. There so it if is. you if you get these bubbles going, maybe I gave you the oh, one. There we the go. There. Hey, let's do the one that quickly goes up to the ceiling. That's what I want to do. Okay. Oh, look at that. And so you can wow. uh, with your hands uh, being filled with bubbles. And if you look at this bubble, you see all these beautiful, beautiful. Uh, patterns because it's one wavelength, one micron thick, and we can actually study bubbles to see how the storms on Jupiter are going. Oh, okay. Which is pretty cool. Now these are. Let's do this real quick, quick if we can here. All right, so. These are some helium bubbles. This is going to go way up there. And since I'm putting helium in them, we hope that these bubbles will actually uh, float because they're lighter than air. There they go. Might want to grab a handful and see if we can get those to float. Let me grab some. Yeah, underneath and. Try it and shake it up in the air, and we'll see if it does float. <laughs> you so much. You love it. Shake it on off. There you go. Die. There, 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 there we go. There we have a tiny bubble. There we go. There we go. Big one. Yeah. And since right. helium is a lot less dense than our regular air, I see why I'm doing this segment by myself. <laughs> George, over to you, her. We're, we're out of time. <laughs>